Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Warlord Liu Bei Let's Play as we continue for episode 7 from turn 67 in the autumn season of 203. So, we are continuing our southern expansion and we're hopefully going to be stealing some land next turn when we get enough points. There's been an elevation of anti-spying by uh, the Kingdom of Wu for good reasons. Uh, they've been losing land to us. I mean, anyone with a logical sense of mind is going to know what's going on. Now, we are only going to be interested if they have good traits. And by good traits, we mean the burn trait. Or else we're pretty content with our current roster of generals. It is a huge influx generals here from different factions too none of which are willing to spy for us which just feels a little sus all right we have a fight here that we need to resolve hopefully it's not gonna bug out for us as we have all the tools in the world to crush not my unit Flaming trebuchet shots, bomb slingers, firebomb on the general ability. No fire arrow though, we opted for the crossbow. And it rains. Great. And there is like this dense forest. We're gonna have to find an like, opening, which I guess is here. Opening to two path? Hmm. Can we get an opening to one path? Yeah, like here. This is reasonable. We might still shoot the fire shots. Okay, we're going to stay just outside the range. We're not very healthy, but I assume we can still beat people. Alright, we probably want to take out the towers though, so regular shots on the towers a couple times. There goes someone's house. You guys seem to be the really unlucky ones. We got it. We do want to do this. Alright, we'll just soften up the front line here.
you can't actually interrupt. It was a planned feature, but it was never implemented correctly, so it doesn't actually work. I'm going to hold on the shots real quick because we have some other options we can do. We can wait until at least the cooldown comes back. And if they want to cluster up over here, we have some big surprise waiting for them. Uh, we should pull his range back so that we fight in the middle here, so we don't have to pull our generals too close to the fight. We'll throw them all out before we leave them alone. This should be helpful enough. I think with less defensive stats on him, the burst and damage should be better than having a little bit more armor. Because we're trying to evade most of the hits, we're just going to try to hit harder here. They're trying to come out. Back up, back up. This is not going well, but we're assisting as much as we can. does lose and we don't have a lot of things we can do against the generals we 
We don't have control of them back, so we can't do too much here to help. Didn't expect to get routed right away. Alright, she can get back over here. win these, so we're gonna just not deal with that. Okay, at least we have heavy crossbowmen, so they can last a little bit longer. But I think we do have a problem having too many bomb slingers, which is now pretty apparent. Make sure they're fully routed. No, kill him. Are we losing this here? got the win. It was a little bit rough, but we might need to alter a few things here. I think we can release. So they're gonna have to resummon them anyways, so it's, it's probably fine. Now, how are you struggling so much with dueling? The 
the army is in okay shape. We get to rest one turn, I think, Elise, and then play two turns of moving through this jungle. Keep it for replenishment and keep this for corruption reduction. It's 10%. It's actually really good. Although there's not a lot of neighboring. There's only one neighboring commandery, but still, that's really good. It's better than what the Hun building can bring. They also have a supply issue that we can't really overcome. We kind of want to give them army. But we might not have enough money this turn. We like their building. Twelve percent. Eventually, she'll pick up the skills. We'll throw her in here. We could start doing this, actually. Just to boost the satisfaction. It's not a bad choice. How the Qingjiang. Yeah, he's really close, actually. But as a trade partner, also pretty good. Is the game freezing? Okay. Phew. The mod does strain the system. You can see how many armies on the field. Liu Yan's army is flooding east. Sun Ce and Cao Cao still going hard at it. No, you can come attack us, it's fine. He, did, he didn't make a move. What? Shouldn't Golden Sun have a lot of land? How did they let this happen? Confederation.
He took the north. And here we thought he was losing. I mean, he's still going to struggle moving the units. Oh, no, they promoted him. We lost our chance. We'll just have to try again on someone else. She's so low in value, yet she doesn't want to flip. I don't remember who we have done this to. That's the problem. I don't think we have used him. Still plus 13. Well, he's willing to flip now. She's not willing to flip. But if we target her again. See, she's at zero. So at least maybe she leaves and opens up a slot for us. Or maybe she just leaves with the commander and joins us. That's that's a possibility. There are our guys. The new Tongwu administrator who replaced you. run now I gotta watch the points I feel like we're gonna trigger a civil war if we keep this up Sun so ends at five do another minus ten he flips he's at nine so that's one of our spies don't see is a 25. One guy's only a six. We don't want to lose him. He's at 57. Where's Lu Su? He's at 49. So we don't want to do another discredit faction. We have extra spy. We could take him. What's his point value right now? Because if it's if it's zero, we don't want to take him. Because then he just bounces right back to us. He's a six. Okay. Just basically more options for us in case he gets promoted. It's okay. It's a matter of time before we own him. Yeah, that supply... is gonna be gone. Already gave him the item. They have the same problem. They have to sit here for a few turns because of that. Alright, we paid for you guys to show up to steal this land. Now we are reclaiming it. He's rank 14. He's not terrible. I think we employ him actually. We could use another sentinel. Let's do this. And actually, this is an army that we should disband. There's no more targets on this side. 
or need it elsewhere. We could disband this and reform it. Unless we want to go to war with them. They seem like decent neighbors with him being trusting. We just have to get on his good side, which shouldn't be too hard, honestly, so. I feel like in John Fay's case, we can definitely go Elite Cavalry once we resummon him. And Nobe can maybe get a proper strategist so that he doesn't have to do it. It just takes too long for this army to walk back. We might as well do a resummon somewhere else. Can we buy some land? How much? 26. That's doable, technically. Twenty-one, even more doable, actually. I mean, ideally, we do it when we have our army in tip-top shape, so that we get that bonus. Well, you can show up in this army. I should so might get replaced again. Right, we could replace. Guan Yu and Sun. Strategist. We can do a switch here as well. She gets summoned. Like, Duo Si is the natural expansion that we have. He's gonna charge in here. We could also come over here and summon our units and then sail to go to war with someone like him. Right, so he's rather weak by himself. Yan Bai Hu is rather weak by him. We can expand this way. Yeah, we'll check our options next turn. We can't confederate or else the value is quite good. All right, we'll just end. These turns along. Oh, we can also think about moving our capital. Originally, Chengdu would be our ideal choice, but now given the situation, maybe Jianning would be a more practical relocation. Well, basically anywhere but Ba. 
That that just doesn't make sense for us right now. They still can't reach, so we are probably going to be able to take that. Oh, no. He could have died in war. Uh, the man died of old age, or maybe war. Skill tree reset. I mean, he's rank 14. With pretty much everything unlocked. I don't think there's a point to reset him. Alright, we got the peasantry commerce combo potentially. Alright, Dad is here. Alright, and we can get a bunch of their cash. Some factions probably gonna vassalize them, force them to fight for them. Okay, let's see. Emperor heir. Very happy administrator. Didn't leave. Something expired. That's Luyan's wife. Luyan just died, so she is the mom. Kind of sad that... Okay, that, that's interesting. We could maybe do something there. Even though we are... Pretty... Oh, that's not enough points. Minus 50 is the base. So he's already boosted to 80. She's zero again. Let's see if she actually leaves. Yeah. We'll snatch her up. Plus 19, okay. Uh, plus 5, perfect. We could have got into a lot of trouble for that, but looks like we're going to be okay. Yuan Tan's in the faction, interesting. Chen Deng.
Yuan Shao. Okay, so he got wiped. That's pretty clear now. We can't go to war with any of them. Swinsla's faction. This is our only opening this way, and then they clear, the, clear that one. So our money should go to this army. That could be worth it. It worked last time. Hmm, the income is now both on him. We had it on separate ones. Now, giving starting rank here is good. We should have more peasantry. Might as well. Alright, so we got choices here. Um... Our son's going to be the cavalry for sure. He's going to be siege weapons into probably elite archers. More range. And higher damage. I think we go with these. All right, so front line. I think we default to... These are good, but I don't know if we want Guan Yu to have them. Why not? And then two Oath Fellows thematic army for Guan Yu. We can pick up one more trade, spice, onyx dragons right after we recruited crossbowmen. Only six of them though, so only one army gets these. Character salary decrease is nice. We were kind of aiming for that last time. Military supplies also been a slight problem for us. This could also work, because we have the plus 25 right now, but I think we don't need it. Yeah, we'll grab this. Thousand ish. Mm, sure. Good one, la. He owns the whole north. They're fighting for the two capitals here. It's also could recover, it seems. Sunsa's so not doing so hot anymore. But he's getting reinforcement from his vassals. We'll see how that goes. We would like to resummon Nobe somewhere. Maybe here. 
and we can attack this way. Well, let's see, Zhang Fei. See, that's his family. Their war is also done. I can resummon her, keep her retinue. This could be upgraded. Right, instead of having them waste their time trying to replenish their... Okay, Zhang Fei gets along with Wei Yan. Zhang Fei should also... Wei, uh, Wei Yan should also get along with Dong Bai, hopefully. And then we'll have Liu Bei's army, like, here. Okay, we split the three brothers. Not right now, because we don't own any parts of this now that has commerce and industry. I think we're good. Yeah, they're cut off now. Since it's now isolated. We can try to bounce this back. It's not a bad goal. All right, we need to find someone who we have not used it on. Wait, she's the administrator. Ah, oh, we used it on her already. She's a family member. Okay, I mean, in terms of just famous generals, Zhu would be a better choice, but 
I don't think either one are administrators. I mean, we're trying. Minus 100 on some of these guys. Might push some of our generals to leave, which we kind of don't want. The supply mechanic in this game is really punishing, to be honest. Everyone should be pretty happy. And we kind of want to see who can fit with who. Oh, we don't have money. Hmm. John Fei will just have to wait. I mean, we're making 15k a turn, just we're spending way too fast with the spy and everything. If we deck out two more armies, I think they will say yes, in terms of just the natural value. We don't have to do any sort of cheese on that. I mean, there's still more Wu armies. They're just moving up. If they can, I mean, if they go even in terms of like one for one, then they have the numbers. You still want input? You're so behind, guys. Just let's be realistic here. You're seeing this firsthand. You know what's going on. No John's now targeting us. Alright, who has Zonke? Uh, we don't have the capital Zonke yet, but that would be where we put it. Uh, Changsha's also okay. Brewing officer would not, okay. Alright, we'll finally throw a Taishu in here. Alright, 
其武器。打四周。I feel like we can just take it, and the rest of the unit will heal up afterwards. They have no. Yeah, no alliances. I mean, Dad is leading, so we get a damage ability here. Okay, we're out of cash. They need to like. All right, we'll stay positive. Yeah, supply is a real thing. She's not super useful, but she's also not useless, so... I want to see what happens. I wonder if Tsao gets advantage for moving first. Okay, his turn happens before... So until his turn every time. He also got a bunch of resources after confederating Gongsunzai in the north. I mean, we got a root for Sun Tzu. If Cao Cao wins this, then we're dealing with like a massive enemy at the end. The good news is the Emperor's are close. They're all in the Central Plains, so we don't have to go too far to grab those. How long does it take for Solo to take his turn? I think we might end up cutting some of these out in the future if they keep taking this long. And I imagine it will only get longer. Alrighty, so I cut that out because it took way too long, but it didn't get stuck. We can buy the horse this time. Uh, it's also has almost retaken this Emperor's seat. I wonder if he wins, right? Because the game is displaying like this. If he gets like all three, has 95 county, does he just win? That would be kind of interesting.
regardless, we will do our thing. Ah, uh, can't get there in one turn. We'll do two turns then. Ah, uh, and then we lose supply. And then we take attrition next turn. We, we should be okay. We should be able to beat this, even if we take attrition. Any new developments? I mean, he's losing battles. Well, it's only plus three now. Okay, so his spy defense has gone down. We might kick her. Like, Little John's faction is not important. Like, yeah, there's Fajong, who we might like, who actually recently got demoted. But more the reason why we should actually kick her after doing this. Look at the choices. Fa Zhong's available, but before Fa Zhong, we gotta look over here. I think... Administrator of Runan. Kind of an odd place for us to steal, also on the borders with Hull's Hall. But do we say no to that? We can do it right away. And then we're just hoping Fajon is still there next turn, which I think he should. He's coming back, he's gonna have some baggage. Um... I'm surprised the food hasn't tanked. Small regional. Okay, we definitely don't eat this. We also don't... Mm, we could keep it, but I also think we don't need it. If we keep it, we can go for a different build. We can go... Peasantry. That goes away. In building. I mean, private workshop just better. We might not spend the money there. I think we move next turn. Don't have to wait for John Fei's units. Although I probably sent them down here to grab this. Because going you can grab that, no problem. Since we have so many unity points...
We will have spice. Yeah, instantly run out of money. I think that's it for now. Alrighty, so we skipped that, but in short, Tsao took it back. And now that the Kingdom of Wu has retreated here, but that's not an Emperor's seat, but that is his new capital. We have some promotion. Huang Gai is in Xiangyang. We'll be taking that too. He's on cooldown turn, so we have to wait next turn, I guess. He's still not back, so we don't have any real openings here. We can just save the points for now. They had a shift because their court changed. They don't have the Imperial Court anymore. Tough luck for them. Alright, can we finally finish the Nunman threat? We're favored, but we're crushing defeat. Explain that logic. We'll fight this soon. Maybe next episode. We'll see. We might use that as our save point. There's quite a few things we should be able to take quickly. Yeah, the congestion, it's like, it doesn't make sense, in my opinion. Like, there, there's no other army here. Why is there congestion? Alright, a lot of things to change. Why are they still here? Okay, we have minus eight food during the winter. That is a problem. That's also a sign where this build should actually just go down to a city build. Then we just do that. Then we do this and we're totally happy with it. All right, we can do a lot of the minor stuff. Yeah, the corruption reduction is actually really good. This is also small regional, which is why we had the food problem. Don't need that. 150 food public order problem. No, we don't even want that. Replenishment will keep for now and We'll downgrade this too, which might kill this building. To be honest, we might have to clear a space. I think they process that first and they don't have an open slot. They'll actually just kill the last building. Apparently we need food. So let's get some food.
Okay, all the buildings are done. Oh, he can do it now. Food goes super negative again. Way over leveled again. Our version's better. One food. And we just stole a bunch of land. So it's a. <laughs> Don't feel too bad for him. This is just payback for the historical backstab that they did. I think we'll just take the save here. Come back, fight this at the start of next episode. And then we can summon them back as well. The southern campaign is over. We can put them on this front. We will keep milking Sunsa for some land. Xinyo has expanded and made it difficult to confederate him. But after we put a couple armies on the field, maybe we can force the confederation. We'll see how that goes. That would be kind of our next play. If we can do that and steal a couple more pieces of Sun Tzu's land, then we're good to go to go to war with Sun Tzu. And then it would sort of be us versus Cao's Halt, which would not be a fun end game with all the schemes. But we'll try our best as the capitals are very, very close to us. So shouldn't be too hard. We might hit King next turn, depending on how much more land we can steal. Uh, that's pretty much what's giving us the prestige boost. So we'll see how that goes. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And see you all next time. Bye.